Hello folks, I'm Fairfield County Commissioner Steve Davis and uh, this is one of those things we do. Uh, each commissioner, maybe once a month, we try to do a video just to highlight some of the issues that are going on and things we're thinking about and uh, about the county. And uh, today I'm uh, thrilled uh, to have with me Stephanie Taylor with uh, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, the commissioners have kind of taken more of an interest in that uh, social service organization in recent uh, years. Um, you know, you may or may not know, uh, back in the day, Habitat was pretty cool around here, getting up a house a year. Uh, and then it seemed, uh, from 30,000 feet, like uh, they lost focus. And it was not clear uh, to us and perhaps others uh, what their mission was and how the decisions they were making were um, kind of gearing them to, to implement that mission. Uh, and then along came Stephanie Taylor. <laughs> Uh, and if you haven't met her, uh, you're missing something because her enthusiasm and infectious personality uh, kind of bringing Habitat for Humanity back to life in our county, uh, together with Ken, I know, um, has just been a joy to, to watch uh, and kind of made us want to be a little bit a part of it. So we're trying to do that in ways. Um, and I think it was May 6th. Uh, the commissioner's office staff and people were out here at this house uh, trying to be helpful and uh, getting uh, some things done uh, for what will be the new owners. I had to miss May 6th uh, because my son was graduating, so I'm doing penance today. Um, uh, glad to be here with you and uh, uh, Stephanie. Tell us a little bit about um, kind of what's going on with Habitat here locally and some of the things you're most excited about. Absolutely. So in, uh, for some folks that might not know, in 2020, we took over the previous affiliate and worked to get everything through COVID back up and running. And in 2021, we started our first project in Fairfield County, just a couple blocks over on 2nd Street. And that was our first home built here. It was completed in the beginning of 2022. And then um, we zoomed our way down to Lancaster on Broad Street and built a house there that fall or the beginning of spring ended in fall of 22 and now we're up here in Pleasantville again uh, and we're on uh, Main Street building another home and we'll be back down in Lancaster this fall for what is our 150th home as an organization. So um, it's a really exciting build for us because it'll be our fourth home. We have a fifth one being built right now with a partnership with the Career Center and we're just moving right along. We're partnering with so many families here in Fairfield County that are in such need of an opportunity to own and um, be a part of the community in multiple ways. And um, what most excites me is that just the upcoming projects. We're, we're planned with partnership with the community, the commissioners, and some of the funding we've gotten from the ARP. And um, as the community continues to get involved, we're just going to be building one to two houses a year. And that's just in our one county, right here in Fairfield County. So, well, that's uh, incredibly exciting. I'm, I'm certainly, I'm, I'm aware of a lot of that information. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, one of the things I think about often is uh, we're in a uh, what I call red county. We're kind of conservative <laughs> around these parts, and I think people might be interested to know uh, the perspective from Habitat in terms of how you are more of a hand up. Yes. Then a hand out. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I'd love to. So um, we are a hand up, not a hand out model. So um, our partner families are exactly that. They partner on the build from the very beginning. They have to put in 250 sweat equity hours per adult. So mom, dad, or any adult that's not a child, we don't require them to put any major work in. But um, they also have to put a thousand dollar down payment and at the end of this project they become homeowners so um, they purchase the home from us and we hold a zero percent um, 30 year mortgage and that allows them i mean that really solidifies their involvement into the community because they're paying taxes just like any other homeowner um, and then they build the home alongside volunteers from the community so they get to know people and um, we always have somehow neighbors and people getting involved, which is great. Um, but it gives them another sense of true ownership of the whole project. So that's part of what that hand up, not a handout model. And a lot of them will also come back and do some other homes as they go along because they've then kind of really become part of the whole thing. And if you would like to get involved with Habitat for Humanity of Southeast Ohio, you can check out our website, 
Facebook or Instagram and sign up to volunteer or check out any of the services that we provide. I want folks to know that the county commissioners, as county commissioners and then personally, uh, we're involved uh, in a number of ways with a tremendous number of social service organizations throughout the county. Uh, you may not see that on Facebook and we don't demand that we get our picture taken every time we do something that someone else might consider nice. We just consider it you know, either part of our job or something we want to do. So we're not uh, real big braggers about that stuff or whatever. So I don't want people to think that it's just Habitat for Humanity. But if I were to rank the people I'm most enthusiastic about right now in terms of social service organizations, uh, they'd be really, really, really close to the top. Uh, hope you learned something today about Habitat for Humanity. And if you hadn't had a chance to come out and help with the build and get involved in the program, I hope you find the opportunity to do that. And I hope you all have a good day.